I'd like for you to do now is to, um, again, take a look at this slide. This is sort of a practice slide. Um, I want to point out before you move on, on your notes, this originally said CO2. I thought I had changed it. I forgot. It's a typo. Scratch it out. It's just CO. It's just carbon monoxide. Okay, so you want to make that little correction um, <clears throat> on your PowerPoint slides. All right, so what I'd like for you to do is go ahead and pause the video at this point and um, make sure you can look at each one of these uh, reactions and identify, uh, you know, the, the, um, what's undergoing oxidation, what's undergoing reduction, and what, what you would call the oxidizing agent and what you call the reducing agent, okay, for each one of these. So go ahead and um, turn off the video or just pause it and uh, work in small groups. You should have uh, recognized this is an oxidation reduction reaction and that the oxidation numbers um, are changing from zero to plus two in this case and to minus one in that case. Um, <clears throat> you should recognize that the magnesium is undergoing oxidation. <clears throat> Okay, and the chlorine is undergoing reduction because it's gaining electrons from a zero to a minus one oxidation number. Okay, reduction. Therefore, this is the reducing agent and this is the oxidizing agent. Um, again, for this one, you should go through and uh, you ought to be able to very quickly label the oxidation states all the way across. This should become just very easy for you. Um, hopefully you were able to do that. Then you can um, recognize that the um, bromide ion going to bromine is what has undergone oxidation and the chlorine is reduced because it has gained an electron. Okay, and then the next one down, um, minus two. Okay, again, remember this is carbon monoxide, not carbon dioxide. Oxygen is always minus two, so in this case the carbon is plus two. Um, here this is elemental iron. Here you've got minus two for the oxygen and uh, plus four for the carbon in this case and the carbon dioxide. <clears throat> All right, and so you look again to see where the oxidation numbers are changing. Um, the oxygen isn't changing, but the iron and the carbon are. So the iron is going from a plus three to a zero. So it must be gaining electrons since it's going from a higher number to a lower number. So that's reduction and the carbon is going from a plus two to a plus four. It's getting a higher oxidation number. It must have lost electrons. Oops, so that's oxidation loss. Alrighty, and then this is the oxidation agent. This is the reducing agent. Okay, now for this one, go across and, and uh, label your oxidation numbers. You have plus one, minus one, plus one. Of course, this is nitrate. It's gonna be minus two, and the nitrogen is gonna be plus five plus one, minus one, plus one, minus two, and plus five. Okay, take a look now. Where um, has the oxidation um, numbers changed? Well, the sodium, no. The chloride ion, no. The silver ion, no. The nitrogen, no. The oxygen, no. So in this case, this is an example of a chemical reaction that is not um, an oxidation reduction reaction. This particular reaction is um, there's no uh, change in uh, oxidation numbers, so it's not a redox reaction. Not all uh, chemical changes are redox reactions, and this is an example of one that is not. Electron transfer is not occurring. Okay, there's no electron transfer here. <clears throat> in this case, it's just a switching, what we call is kind of a double replacement or switching of partners, and um, <clears throat> there's no uh, oxidation or reduction. Um, and we end up with what we call a precipitation reaction, okay? So <clears throat> you don't always have oxidation reduction going on. <clears throat>